Here we have a lovely 2011 BMW 118D Sport 5 door hatchback in mineral grey. Lovely condition car and it's also got lots of spec on as well for a Sport. Starting with the offside of front tyre. Tread depth there, easily a good 6mm in the centre, you've got plenty of tread. As you can see there is some corrosion around the polished finish alloys, um, so quite a bit of corrosion around the spokes and the alloy as well, um, so a definite refurb required there. Looking down the offside of the vehicle, taking a good look down the bodywork, there's a small dent on the rear passenger door as you can see here, so there is a small dent on there and also a smaller dent just behind it, so two small dents on the rear door. Driver's door is fine. Around the offside front arch it will require a couple of touchings there. Um, apart from that, looking around the rest of the car. Um, driver's mirror, you get the black mirror caps which is a nice uh, finish against the grey. Looking at your driver's door, again a couple of light scratches will need a little bit of a polish. Literally just a minor touch in there on the door edge as well. Um, these little dents here, so you can see you've got a dent there. Um, just stand out and a smaller dent just behind it as well. Both the sills are fine, nothing at all to report on the roof. Rear passenger door, again we've got some light scratches, you can see we've got a light scuff mark going down here. Um, again, can't really get my nail into any of that, so it should be able to mop out um, and here as well, so just be wary of this here. Door edge is fine, a couple of scratches around the rear arch, and again a couple of light scratches around there that just need a bit of a polish. Rear tyre, again easily a good 5mm of tread there on the rear tyre. Looking on the rear alloy, again we have got corrosion around the rear alloy, so again probably going to require a good refurb to this alloy. Moving around to the rear end of the vehicle. On the back you do have the rear parking sensors, again nice feature. Scratch on the back there, that should be able to mop out. A couple of lighter scratches on the back here again, need a polish. Near side rear quarter is all fine, no signs of any apparent damage. Boot as well in nice condition. Inside the boot itself you've got your parcel shelf there, nice condition. That is your age related plate and obviously no spare wheel with the BMW. Moving around to the near side rear tyre, again we're looking at about 5mm of tread. And the rear alloy again, as you can see we have got some corrosion around the alloy here, so again a definite refurb will be required. Looking down the uh, near side of the car, can't see any dinks or dents at all down there. Again looking at uh, the bodywork, rear door edge is fine, front door edge is fine, and again just one or two light scratches on the bodywork there that just require a bit of a polish. Um, passenger mirror is fine, front arch, a couple of light scratches and the front tyre good 6mm tread there, so plenty of tread on all four tyres, look fairly new. And again some corrosion and marks around the front alloy, so four wheel refurbs required. Uh, a bit of a scuff mark on the front quarter here, you can see it's just taken the paint off, so that's a smart repair there. Um, apart from that, a couple of stone chips around the front, you do get the front parking sensors as well. So again, a couple of stone chips and light scratches around the front end, that'll need a polish. You also get the uh, the visibility packs, so you've got the Zenon headlights, which is a really nice feature on the Sport, and again, a couple of stone chips around the bonnet. Inside, as you can see, get the full cloth interior, just needs a good valet inside. No sign of any damage at all to any of the seats. Back seats are fine as well, so again, just a bit of a valet needed. Looking on your driver's seat, of course, you get the sports seats, the bolsters are fine, again, just needs a bit of a valet inside. Front passenger seats also in the same condition, there's no damage at all inside. You've also got the brushed aluminium finish with the piano black, so that's a nice feature. Uh, again, very tidy. Steering wheel's not in bad condition for its age. You've got the rain sensitive wipers and automatic headlights in there as well. Stepping inside the vehicle, um, like I said, Santa console's fine. It's a manual box. Um, you've got cruise control there as well as the multifunction wheel. We do get two sets of keys with the vehicle. Obviously, it's push start, but there's your, your two keys there. And just starting the vehicle. As you can see, no issues at all starting the car. Won't need a service for quite some time according to the vehicle. No symbols at all appearing on the dash and it does run exactly how it should do. Um, so that's all brilliant. Take a look at the paperwork. V5, we're looking at three owners on the vehicle. Um, looking at the um, MOT, MOT till September 2016. And service history, we've got um, service at 18, service at 37, service at 53 and a service at 68. So that was its last service at 68,000 miles. Um, obviously it is all digital nowadays. Um, apart from that, as you can see, the car is in lovely condition. Uh, real nice spec for a Sport. Uh, it's the 61 plate 118D Sport 5-door hatch.